بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب تف الله حزبية and oppressing one another is muharram. It's impermissible in Islam. It's impermissible to break into sects, groups, break away from your brothers, to hate your brothers, and to oppress your brothers. This is muharram. And as a beautiful reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters, I came across some fantastic kalam from Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i in his book, Makhraj min al-Fitna. And in it, the Sheikh brought some beautiful speech of Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, which is mainly the words of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, beginning with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we're going to read and benefit from this fantastic kalam, which doesn't need us to explain, because it's very clear from the sunnah. Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, rahimahullah ta'ala, and Sheikh Mukhbil said, as a editorial for that, he said, Kalam Hassan Halal Hizbiya. He said, this is beautiful speech from Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah regarding Hizbiya. He said, Qala rahimahullah ta'ala, wa ala al-mu'allameen an yukunu muta'awineen ala al-biri wa taqwa, kama قال نبي كما أمر نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بقوله المسلم أخ المسلم لا يس لا يسلمه ولا يظلمه وقوله مثل المؤمنين في توادهم وتعاطفهم كمثل الجسد الواحد إذا اشتكى منه أدو تداع له سائر الجزد بالحمى والسهر In the first uh, speech of the, uh, these ahadith so Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah he said it's upon the one who teaches to uh, on, on the teachers to cooperate meaning this is for the dua that they should be cooperating that they should cooperate together in piety and taqwa and God fearfulness as the Prophet ﷺ commanded in the hadith, the Muslim is a brother to a Muslim. He doesn't oppress him and he doesn't uh, speak ill of him. And then in another hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, the example of the believers is the, that they have love and affection for one another, which is similar to the example of the body, of a single body. That when a part of it is in pain, then the rest of the body is affected with fever and with sleeplessness. وَقَوْلُهُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ لَا يُؤْمِنُ أَحَدَكُمْ حَتَّى يُحِبَّ لِأَخِيهِ مِنَ الْخَيْرِ مَا يُحِبُّهُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَقَوْلُهُ الْمُؤْمِنْ لِلْمُؤْمِنْ كِالْبُنْيَانِ يُشُدُّهُ يُشُدُّ بَعْضُهُ بَعْضًا وَشَبَكَ بَيْنَ أَصَابِعِهِ وَقَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَلَا تُحَاسِدُ وَلَا تُقَاطِعُ وَلَا تُبَاغِدُ وَلَا تَدَابَرُ وَكُونُوا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ إِخْوَانًا وَهَذَا كُلُّهُ فِي صَحِيحٍ then he mentioned the ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said by the one whose hand my soul is in one of you does not truly believe until he loves for his brother the good of what he loves for himself and then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said the Muslim or the believer is the the believer to the believer is like a building or a structure. It's they strengthen one another. And then the Prophet وسلم, put his hand, his fingers, he put his fingers together. And then he وسلم, said, and do not 
be envious of one another and do not turn your backs to one another and do not hate one another and do not you know make hajar or qata uh, one another do not cut off one another and be brothers ya o oh servants of Allah and then he said wa fi sunan anhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam annahu qala ala unabbiyukum bi afdali min darajat as-salat was-siyam was-sadaqa wal-amr bi ma'ruf wa nahyi 'anil munkar qalu bala ya rasulullah qal salahu dhat al-bayn fa in fasada dhat al-bayn هي حالقة لا أقول تهلك شعر ولكن تهلك دين. Then he mentioned another hadith in the Sunan from the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم who said, "Should I tell you about something which is better in status than the prayer and fasting and charity?" and commanding the good and forbidding the evil and they said meaning the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in said uh, yes o messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said rectifying between you for verily wickedness or that which is wicked which destroys uh, what is between you is halaqa and then he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam i don't say that it is shaving your head but rather it is destroying the deen or shaving the deen if uh, probably the most appropriate way to articulate it is that it is destroying or tearing apart the deen wa fi sahih anhu sallallahu alaihi wasallam annahu qaal tuftahu abwab al janna كل يوم الاثنين والخميس فيغفر لكل عبد لا يشرك بالله شيئا إلا رجلان كان بينه وبين أخيه شهنا فيقال انذروا هذين حتى يصلحا وقال صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يحل لمسلم أن يهجر أخاه فوق ثلاث فليتقياني فيصد عن هذا ويصد هذا وخيرهما الذي يبدا بالسلام so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said also in the sahih he said salawat rabbi wa salamuhu alayh the gates of jannah are open every uh, monday and thursday and every servant who doesn't uh, commit shirk with Allah anything commit any shirk with Allah will be forgiven except two except uh, except uh, the, the the man except the man who between him and his brother there is enmity or hatred and then it is said look to those until they rectify between them and in another narration, it, it was mentioned three times. Andiru hadain hatta yastaliha. Andiru hadain hatta yastaliha. Andiru hadain hatta yastaliha. Wa qal sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, It is not permissible for a Muslim to make hajr, to cut off his brother for more than three days. And then when they meet one another, they repulse, this one repulses this one, and this one repulses this one. The best of you is those who begin with the, the salam. Ahabat tafillah, there is so much fawa'id from this great Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi. And most of that kalam, of course, was from the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it was taken from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, who originally uh, gave it that tartib in his majmu' of fatawa. Ahabatifillah, we have to learn to cooperate. We have to learn to put the hisbiya aside. We have to learn to put our person, our personal hatred and personal uh, agendas aside and to Alan strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Ahl Sunnah is few. 
Ahlus Sunnah is weak. And the Hizbis, the Hizbiyun are Kathir. They're many. Jamaat Tabliq is many. Akhwan al Muslimin is many. The Sufis are many. The Takfiris are even many that are affected by their Minhaj and their Aqidah. So, Ahabati Fillah, we ask Allah the Almighty to make us to be a source of rectifi rectification and for you to begin by first giving the salams to your brothers and breaking off what the shaitan has put between you. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with good and forgive us of all our sins. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.